While their outpost was growing, Karsa realized that somehow he will have to feed the people living here. While the wheat straw and cacti that the Karen brought back were useful, and Dathops was happy to learn how exactly to do the whole farming thing, Karsa knew that farming doesn't just grow overnight. And if the crops can't grow overnight, well maybe the river nearby could be their answer. Maybe there's some edible fish in there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kenshi Genesis and welcome back to our new outpost. I gotta admit, I like this place. This place is cool. I think we have found a great place to be. <laughs> As for the name, uh, the new, the episode, the previous episode that I recorded just went live as I'm recording this and I saw Afterthought, I believe, being thrown around. I'll still wait another day before I pick the name, but just make sure to like the name that has been suggested. The one that you like the most, put a like on there, so we'll see in the end which one gets the more likes and all that stuff. So we'll figure out which one might be the most fitting over here. Now, I wasn't kidding when I said fishing. We use the books that we had, we have a lot to research as you can see, and fishing is gonna be next on the list after we do the cactus farming, and we're gonna seriously try to do some fishing in here. I'm not even joking. Is this... what, what is this supposed to be? <laughs> uh, yes, fish. Fish might be our answer. Looks like Hyperion got some friends up here. Ah, it's just the berserkers, okay. Uh, it's just the old berserkers. There's been a lot of fighting going on out here in the plains. Calls chosen and check kingdom and spiders a lot of fun stuff happening don't worry about it we'll probably get to see that soon also we of course have this new uh, area over here just uh, just a new tiny wall just to protect our side and you can put torches in these stockades which makes it look pretty freaking cool and i like it very much so you know we have some lights out there in the darkness and now that we have cactus research, how about we try and take a look at our firmi firming? <laughs> first farming thingy. Uh, we're not gonna go for XL, because we only have 10 cacti. But 10 cacti is more cacti than we had ever before. So we're gonna try building this one over here. And as it grows, we're gonna, of course, improve it. Uh, yes, let's do it. Let's do it here. This seems reasonable. Throw it down, and Moosey, would you be so kind to drop on the ground the 10 cactuses so we can build a cactus farm and start actually farming. The Shack Kingdom, or well, the future Shack Kingdom, is farming. Who would have thought it has been built? Who's gonna be the farmer? Uh, Blister, do you have any other jobs? Because you are a Greenlander, right? Blister, for now, you shall be assigned to farming. Start working on that. Yoing some water in there. Wow, did you really bring all of that? That's amazing. And well, the cacti shall shall grow. Slowly but surely. And once it grows, we will just keep on upgrading it and then upgrade more and build more and so on and so forth. Why are you guys just getting back up? I was trying to set up fishing. And I actually did. Would you look at this? To properly set it up, I built a bridge. I had to do some uh, shift F12 shenanigans. Don't worry about that. And we have fishing pole flying in the air. Ah, ready fishing pole? I thought we talked about this. Go back down here, like that. See, like your brother over there is just fine. Good. Okay, fishing poles. Now, to actually fish over here, you need fish grubs. And I forgot to set those up, so let's go get the get bait thing. Yes, you become master at baiting when this is all real and true and properly happening. So don't worry about that. We'll be getting bait right there. And you just work on that and you get blood grubs and then you put blood grubs in here to catch grandfish. Who is next without work i mean i can't put tora the fearless and these guys on that that seems more like uh, you know what uh, that would be more like beep's job but beep's got other work to do bug up can we send bug up to get us bugs bug up go let's remove all that work from you 
And let's see if you're gonna go do it. Bug up is gonna get bait, my friends. Beautiful. It, it's kind of hard to click on these things sometimes. But yeah, he's getting blood grubs. And once we get blood grubs, they're gonna be put in here. And people can start fishing. Then, of course, Uncle's got a job. Oryx is gonna have a job. You know what Karsa said? He might take up fishing. Karsa, when you have a blood grub, you're allowed to go fish. And maybe... You know what, maybe once upon a time he's gonna settle down with a good shack lady like Tora. So Tora, you can come out here and you can do the other part of the fishing thing. Also, I wanted to do a bit of uh, interior work because I, I think it's only appropriate that uh, we make our places look like they're actual places, you know? So we'll, we'll maybe do a bit of a partitioning over here. That is sideways. Maybe you're not gonna do partitioning that is this badly sideways. I mean, we have we have means to switch this later on, but let's go do something like that. You wouldn't be one to be watched while you rest out here, right? Of course not. That uh, that would be unfortunate. But what we can do is we could maybe build some interior stuff over here, a place where everybody can go and chill when they're not working. Maybe a Round table, that seems like a great idea. We can put a table in here since we don't have uh, cloth for these beds anyway. Let's do that and maybe we can give them some uh, sitting boxes. That seems uh, that seems reasonable. Let's, let's build a couple of boxes these guys could use out here. These are all building materials, yes. Maybe we should use to build uh, like something like walls. Don't worry about that. Uh, four, we'll take four and maybe can we get a sitting pillow? I think we have one, maybe two fabrics left. If you have two, then we can do this. Ah, look at that. Karsa and Tora are both fishing. Can we please click on this? Yeah, put a blood grub in there and now they're catching grand fish. I don't know if this is actually any skill. Oh, it is farming actually. Who would have thought? Didn't know. Well, it would make more sense to put Greenlanders in here, but I guess these guys will be fine. Yeah, let them let them fish. Yes, look at our boys having fun. Sitting around. Daryl, did you just step and beep? Poor beep. So yeah, beep's down, blister's down and sitting over here. These guys are sitting there and enjoying their food. Looks like there's a lot of people that don't have much yet to do, so they are just... Uh, running around doing trying to get to sit over here but we have a lovely place now to rest up and talk about stuff you know together as a unit we can probably say we have our first couple of grand fish they're 50 nutrition each yes uh but but it's food it's food that we have caught ourselves from the blood grubs that bug up is providing who seems to be providing more grubs that we can actually uh, use to fish, which is nice. Uh, there is more fishing options we can actually do. So let's take a look at that. We have a net fish. So I believe these ones, it looks like it's based on the water, interesting. Uh, can we, okay, so we have to put it way down here, huh? Let's see. Uh, I. I always had issues with this one because uh, it kind of requires people to swim into the water and do their stuff which is a bit obnoxious but we can we can do something like this like it's basically a net over the river so anything that comes through here gets caught and i think these ones catch small raw fish not the not the big ones that are right away edible and these ones i think we then need the drying stand. Yes, unfortunately, another thing that can kind of get bugged, but let's build this one nearby. Our new uh, fishing setup is complete, and Daryl looks like he's gonna go in here and see if he can catch some raw fish. And then the raw fish have to be put out here on the dry fish. And I'm hoping Beep, who seems to be a runner doing all these kinds of things, is gonna do this for me as well are you you don't need to operate that beep you got lots of running to do don't worry about it <laughs> poor poor little guy 
He's just doing everything. What he does have a problem is dropping these in here. I wonder if we build this barrel in such a way that it's kind of hard to for people to reach it. We'll see if if they stop taking food from it. I guess that is the easiest way to see. Carsa felt at peace. Fishing in the river made him forget about what his true purpose was. It made him less tense than he was for the last two months when he was trying to figure out how he can turn the future of the whole Shek Kingdom for the better, how he can take care of all of his troops, how can he feed them, how can he make sure that they are healed and they don't drop and die in battle. But now finally he had a moment for himself, just fishing and time to think. Also he had to admit, Tora the Fearless wasn't the worst company that he could have here. We gave Bug up a little bit of shelter over here, so he's not gonna be out in the rain if ever it rains over here. And there's a there's a campfire if we ever get some uh, meat we can cook over here. And uh, Bug up is gonna it's gonna have a nice place to sit. Maybe Beep is gonna sit next to him and look into the fire a bit. You know when Beepers doesn't have much to do, which is rare because he is he's a runner, and I like him. And look, he's got some dust storm protection down there. It's fine. Probably not because of the tent. It's just I'm just saying. It could be kind of cool. And Daryl, I hope you don't get cold in this water. You know, you could stand next to it, but it's, that's fine. Did we get any uh, fish yet? Doesn't look like we got any fish there. How are these guys doing? Did Beep learn to drop the fish or... Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's hoarding it anymore, so this is fine. And you can see we are... We're getting some fish in, and Moosey still has her own, some of her own fish. And I guess we can, Moosey, come over here. We can drop some of this in here. Next thing we're gonna be working on is some defense. And we have built this bad boy up here just to overlook how uh, this is set up. And I'm gonna set up, let's say, two turrets up here. We just have normal mounted crossbows. We don't even have them any upgraded in any way yet. Uh, but this can be Fuse's job up here. Fuse can go on this and later on when Death Ops isn't researching, he can pop up there as well. And they can overlook, because this seems to be the area where everyone always comes from. This is where the enemies rush into our uh, tiny little valley down here. We haven't actually had a single one coming this way or down... No, actually there's been some scavengers in Shack walking down here and up there. But nobody from that side yet. So mostly it's this area. As you can see, there's some Shack Kingdom patrolling over here. And this is fine. Alright, Fuse, you're getting yourself a new job. Get your ass up here in this turret, buddy. I want to see how well you can do as a turret guard. Now, can we put some lights up here? I don't think we can. Oh, actually you can put... Oh, this is nice. You can actually put torch posts on these things. Oh, we will do this. We will definitely do this. So let's get some torch post up here. Confirm that. No, you don't need to build that. It's fine. And he's already aiming at something. Fuse, what are you aiming at? Oh, Tyrant is bringing a friend. Lights have been built. Not that you can see much right now that it's still dark, but they have been built. I gotta admit, these lights over here are my favorite part of Genesis so far. I'm sorry, but I'm sucker for small details like that, and that is a great detail. We do have extra iron now set up, because I, I was waiting with that one. Uh, which means we can now go and set up some more uh, crafting. Which means we can set up our plate beating bench once again, so we can get Oryx to get back on working this thing. Now, since we don't want uh, Uncle and Oryx looking at each other too much and you know there who knows what might happen there we built a bit of a interior wall up here between them as well so oryx you can go back to work over there get your iron yes 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 and let's start uh, leveling this up at 30 you know she's uh, she's not a bad armor smith i like it she can start working these armor plating we do have some stored in i don't know exactly where look at how much leather we also have we're gonna be running out of skins, but that's not an issue. How high can Uncle get? 
you know, once you get above 50, you'll be actually be starting to make some good stuff. The problem is, of course, us not having any uh, cloth. And for that, we need to do uh, cotton farming. Have you researched that? We probably did by now. So let's see how is the how does it look. Yeah, see, cotton, crop yield 9%. Not gonna work. Now the question is, can we make out here in arid territory can we make hemp work i don't think so but it's it's an option that we can try we either can go to mako or to basking and see maybe we'll go to mako uh we can just go across the spider planes what could possibly go wrong there right runners you know the drill this time around we left blister behind because blister has to work on the farm over there but joseph didn't have any work yet so we're sending joseph instead of him of course moosey ghost and fuse remain fuse could have been a turret gunner over there but uh since nobody's attacking us quite right now well he's gonna be fine if he shadows ghost and makes sure that any fights we get into we can also get out to while joseph and ghost fight who knows maybe we're gonna find a cleaver for joseph out there in the swamps although i kind of kind of doubt that but good luck you guys and let's bring back some hemp shall we oh doggos have arrived that's actually good for us because we uh we definitely need to get some more skins and if you can get some more meat we can uh we can cook that where did you come from and why is there just one it's a good question beep you know what to do right you gotta forage animals that's that's my boy he's getting the skins he's getting the meat and hopefully he's gonna he's gonna dig dig these in correct places. We do have plenty of water, so water over here for these farms shouldn't be a problem at all. Now, oh, he's did he dropped something in here. I thought for a second he might. Have you not caught any raw fish yet, Daryl? Is this farming skill as well? Wow, we are all just a bunch of farmers now, huh? Just a bunch of farmers. Okay, he hasn't yet dropped stuff. He's gonna looks like. Okay, you know what? Never mind, beep. I'll I'll just do it myself so you don't you don't get too too busy, okay? What a lovely village at a berserker village. What a lovely look at a berserker village. You guys be uh be careful, okay? Don't get hit by any berserkers. <laughs> They're not taking the safest path down here, but I think if they've just followed this uh, river, they'll make it to Mako very easily without any problems. They did Oh, there are berserkers out there. They're going to medic somebody. They are just ignoring us. Who are they medicing? Another berserker? It's another berserker that is not mad at them. Okay. I mean, I don't think we are actual enemies yet. What, what is our faction thingy? Yeah, mine is 24, so it's fine. Does bandits kind of hate us? Cross Chosen definitely hate us. Band of Bones as well. We need to make Berserkers even more pissed off then. There is the swamp. You can already see the, the, the craziness that lies ahead. Hello, friendly Shack Kingdom. Oh, there's Cross Chosen versus the Shack Kingdom. Shack Kingdom does have some range boys, and these guys seem to be actually following us. Oh boy. See... That's what you get when you look back. You get Moosey to almost die. Did you just hit it for 199? You dickhead spiders. You dickhead spiders. Joseph is not gonna have fun there. We must make sure that we can heal. Uh, we can we can heal her, or her, heal him. Sorry, Moosey. I just assume your gender. I didn't want to do that. Joseph went down. He is bleeding out slightly. That's that's fine, you know. These guys will do that to you. Are you trying to fight your former leader? I don't think that's gonna go well for you, boys. Trust me. Trust me. Fuse and Ghost are gonna destroy you. Make sure that Fuse is shooting the correct person and not trying to pull more that are fighting the Shack Kingdom. None of that. None of that. Okay, you got him. That's nice. Uh, leave that one. First aid, Moosey. Go, first aid, Moosey. Jesus. Those spiders can be slightly nasty. 
<laughs> As Moosey here just learned. Fuse. You know what? Just make sure these spiders are dead. Just just make sure they're dead. I don't I don't want to deal with uh, their hits again. And Joseph should be fine. He needs repairs. Yeah, it looks like the curls chosen are fine. And Ghost, you fix yourself as well, buddy. And now you both go repair poor Joseph's leg. This is going to be unconscious for a while. Because his blood loss is bad because of these stupid spiders. I uh, Fuse, uh, you will grab Joseph. And you will grab Moosey. And, well, you'll follow Fuse. And we'll our make our way to Mako. Thankfully, it's not far. Let's hope we don't get chased by anything else. Berseria is under attack by Cross Chosen over here. And oh boy, there's a lot of spiders over yonder. And these spiders are probably fighting the Cross Chosen as well. Okay, boys, uh, you kind of know the drill. In fact, Death Ops. No, we're not going to send him up here. He's going to come over here. Guys, fights. Cross Chosen are here. We're, we're fighting these dudes. I just hope runners don't get attacked right now. Uh, that'd be great. Spiders seem to be moving away, which is lovely. And Cross Chosen are going to be beaten up. Where are you going? That one Berserker? Everybody going after that one Berserker while well, there's Cross Chosen here. That's amazing. Death Ops, I just beg of you, my friend. Please do not pull those spiders in who seem to be just waiting over there for something to happen. I would, I would really appreciate that. Yeah, now you guys are coming back, huh? It's about time. Don't you think? It's about time. Slay them. This is good. These guys are trespassing on our territory. <laughs> None of that. This is our land now. If you guys thought that you can uh, come over here and bully us, no cross chosen. None of that. Okay, B1 has joined the fray now. He's been dealing with that berserker earlier who was, I guess, trying to escape. We've done it. Death Ops isn't even trying to pull the spiders. Looks like the spiders have vacated the premise. You know what? I will say thank God for that one. Especially since we've seen what can happen after Moosey got hit on the way to uh, the... Not the forest. The swamp. I don't know why I wanted to say the forest, but yes. Good thing. Darrow is the only one that's a bit more hurt. You know what, Darrow, if you feel like it, you can always go to bed over there. Fuse and Ghost has made it to Mako safely, which makes me happy. Who are you guys, Swampers? Alright, what you got out here for me? They do have a big shop. Big shop should, should have something good. You don't have a place where you could rest up, do you? No, this is, uh, this is pretty bare bones. Remind me next time that we maybe bring some... Uh, some sleeping bags with us. Hello, sir. How do you do? Or lady? No, it's a sir. They do have hemp. They do have hemp. Uh, I don't know if hemp grows in the territory where we're gonna be. But we'll buy it. Then we'll buy the Gohan that is cheaper over here. I think that is useful. Straw hat with mask. It would be a shame if we didn't buy this. Because I like the way it looks. I'm sorry. And you know what, Sanda goes at, because it's cheap. Oh yeah, we're in the swamp, who would have thought? <laughs> uh, we're not buying the rice wheat, because I'm pretty sure the rice wheat does not grow anywhere but where it's swampy. We could buy the sleeping bag, because we're just complaining we don't have a sleeping bag. So let's do that. Alright, good work boys. Now, can we actually place the sleeping bag somewhere around here? Could, out there. Not, not the safest place, is it? Still, let's go. You too. Go out there, we'll place it. Uh, these guys have like a another residential over here. And a, a tank. Just next to this. I really like this town. It's kind of unprotected, yes. But it's it's nice. It's very swampy. Although you would expect some fences out here. You would definitely expect some fences. That's for damn sure. Alright, Fuse, let's have Joseph sleep it off here for a bit and you guys make sure that you're all very stealthy we need to make sure the man uh, fixes his blood loss so he can walk back with us and we don't need to carry him cross chosen please what do you think you're gonna achieve over here we are so much more than you could ever be look Ptolemy is just gonna hit you with a pick now and so is Berseria you don't give a shit Joseph in the swamp is fine 
these guys are fine. His run speed, yeah, it's okay because he's he's he has he has to carry Moosey anyway. Unless we tell Moosey to sleep, we could put Moosey into the bed for a bit. And this might be the most stupidly placed stove I ever built, but we got ourselves a stone now. Stove. <laughs> Uh, so we could make dried fish here as well. We could make dried gristle flaps, which we need foul raw meat, which we don't have. Salted fish packs, if we had salt. We do have grand fish. Uh, how do we get salt? I am not quite sure. That's part of the genesis I've never actually dealt with. We have cooked fish, that's for just raw fish. Rice, we're not gonna have. Co cooked wedges, we're not gonna have in dried meat. Well, we can we can set that one to be uh, prepared forever, if we um, if we ever get anybody actually bringing in raw meat. Beep, do you still have that raw meat? You got some fish. We are stacking up nicely on fish, so that is at least a good thing. And we got spiderinos. Good luck there, Rothra. As long as just one, I don't fucking care. We got this. Somebody's gonna get hurt if you guys are all gonna go there. It was Rothra. Uncle, make sure it did. And then we can burn it. Oh, well, now I know why these guys are here. The Shack Kingdom boys are killing them out of here. Uh, good. I mean, good for you, Shack boys. Don't worry about us. We, we don't need none of that. Back to the sneaky swampers. I know they're not swampers. They're just, they're just boys out here having fun in the swamp. We can all walk normally. Correct. Okay. Dismantle the cam bed. Make sure that Moosey carries it. And we all follow Moosey back home towards our outpost. Which, no, I haven't named it yet. I will still wait one more day before I uh, pick whatever you guys choose. And, uh, you know, it's all up to you guys. It's all up to you. Ghost had to admit he was enjoying himself being part of of a trade caravan. He couldn't stand being around Karsha. He couldn't stand his leadership. But yet, he had to submit because he was defeated by him. So, Karsha must have been stronger. But that didn't mean that Ghost had to enjoy his presence. It didn't mean that Ghost had to stick around and be around Karsha all the time and his foolish blabbering about Shaq Kingdom this and Shaq Future that. He was happy. He was able to roam the plains without any real responsibility. Going to different towns, visiting places he has never visited before, when he still had responsibilities to his men. He was happy. And if he got something to kill on his travels, well then all was good. Would you look at that? We got a whole of eight cactus in here. That's amazing. Can't even upgrade to a small one, but I guess what we can do is start or can't upgrade from a small one I should say we can build or half build another one. I think that's that's fine We're gonna half build the next one that eventually will be here One day maybe who knows Moosey and his boys are back so Welcome back. You guys can get your jobs and do whatever you want to do with your life. Sit around and all that stuff. And Moosey, well, how about you write? We don't have any books. <laughs> oh, you smart man. You can do research if you buy hemp. But you can hardly do research if you don't also buy books. Mother trucker. Okay, uh, what are we going to do? Is we're going to do a quick drive by to the last stand over here. Uh, wow, you're our fastest boy. Run there. I want to see just in case if these guys have something to sell because I noticed that you actually have a proper, like a real proper uh, village going on. Village? City. It's not, it's not even a village. Yeah, don't worry about that. There's a... They have their own storage. Yeah, they're not gonna have anything. I doubt there's gonna be anything useful at the bar. Hmm. Ain't that a shame. Wow, that's a, that's a cool looking blade you got there, buddy. Yeah, so we could buy food over here. That's something we could do. And water and rum. But that's really not what we want to do. Is your name really Meow? Love the name, lady. Love the name. If nothing else, 
We're gonna actually buy some recipes over here. Samurai cloth pants as well. Drifter's letter pants. Scrabs Nari Kabuda. I have no idea where that is. We're buying it. Okay, the, the brute playing there is too much for us to afford. Wow, with your 30 run speed, you can make it out here to a station in no time, right? As I said, in no time has he made it back. Unfortunately, it seems like we are under attack at home. Don't worry about that. Uh, give me all the books that Wa can carry. Can he carry all of them? Sure. He's gonna be a bit slower uh, on his way back. Oh, we need cactuses. Give me cactuses. 25 run speed? Wa, you got this. Unfortunately, Wa did a bit of a stupid. Ran into a battle because his idea of going from here to here is to go up here. You know what? I, like, I'm sorry because I sent you alone. Uh, clearly, the brains on this on this bad boy are not not the strongest. I, I should have known better, and I apologize. Hey, boys, look at who is home. Wa has returned, and he has brought the goods, as you can imagine, as you would always trust him to bring the goods. Wa, I will need you to put some materials in there. Uh, perfect. Come over here now. My son, build this cactus farm, and let us also do... The research for that hemp farming, please. I wanna test it out. Buster, you know your job. Make sure you deliver the goods over here. No, 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 I said deliver the goods. You don't wanna deliver the goods to this one? Do we not have water? We have 65 fucking water. I guess you're not delivering because it's raining? Buster, are you slacking on me, buddy? Because I will not allow that, you know? I will not allow that. So please, go deliver the waters in here, because we're not using the waters for anything else. Appreciate that. These two are your job. You seem to be kind of broken. Hem farming research complete. Now is the moment of truth. I know, I could have just checked on the internet, but where's the fun in that? And yes, we can grow it. It's not going to be amazing. But we can grow it, and that's really all that matters to me. Maybe we'll do hemp on this side of the river. You know, just have have uh, one thing on one side, hemp on the other. Let's go, we'll start there, and then we can uh, follow these ones over here. We're gonna need a bridge across as well at this point, but that's, that's fine. Build me the hemp thing. Does Moosey have all the hemp? The hemp farm has been complete. Luster, this one is all yours as well. Are you gonna deliver goods this time around? No, I guess not. I guess he needs a reload or something like that. Worry not about that, it's fine. While Karsa enjoyed the peace and quiet of their new outpost, he realized that forever they could not just sit here. They will have to do something. They will have to do something about the Shack Kingdom or all of the bandits around them. He had a good long talk with the flying bull about the strategy, what should they do next? And the only thing they could agree upon is that they agree on nothing. The strategy, how to tackle the Shack Kingdom, what to do with the remnants of the three bandit faction that still roam these wastes, they were not on the same page. But Karsha knew something had to be done. And so he decided that tomorrow, when a dawn breaks, they will go back out there into the wasteland and they will do some scouting. <laughs>